drinkers. Today we're going to teach you how to make some amazing beef ribs. These things are so tasty, they're so tender, you're going to absolutely love them. We're using short ribs. Now ours came with a little bit of extra fat on the top of the rib, but we just trimmed that off just a little bit. A lot of times when you buy them at the store, you buy them at the butcher, they're already trimmed, they're ready to go. We're gonna take the ribs, I'm gonna put a little uh, Tabasco Chipotle sauce on it, just a little bit, sprinkle that on. I'm gonna use that as a binder. And I'm gonna rub that in all over the top, slather that on. I mean, if you're in South Carolina, you'd probably be using mustard, but we're gonna use this. And once you're done with that, you pretty much just want a rub that's made out of uh, Salt and pepper, pretty much. And then uh, so we're gonna we're gonna put some of that on there, sprinkle it on, make sure we got good coverage. Not so worried about the bottom side, but still want to get the edges. Then I'm gonna finish it off with uh, one of my barbecue rubs, kind of a uh, sweet heat. It's uh, we'll give it a little color that red color that we're looking for, that nice mahogany. Okay, so we just got done putting a rub on the ribs. There's really nothing to it. We're gonna take them out now, throw them on our smoker, and let them, let them cook for about, for about three hours before we check on them. All right, let's give it a look. See what we got in here. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, these ribs are looking really nice. You can see where the meat's really pulling back from the bone on either side. Just got the color we want, but now we need to help tenderize it. Make sure it's good and tender. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the ribs, throw them right in the middle, like so. I'll wrap up the sides. And I'm not going to totally close it up. What I'm going to do now is just take some of that beef consomme that I got. I'm going to pour that down in there. All right, I put a full can of beef consomme in there. And then I'm taking a little bit of this chocolate milk stout that I've got. And you can use any kind of beer, really. I was just, whoops, I was just drinking this one earlier. So I'm going to pour about half a pint there. That ought to be nice. Now I'm going to carefully close it up like so. I'll put it in a pan and then we'll put it back on that smoker to cook. All right, let's give them a look. Let's see. Open that up. Test it. Oh yeah, that's done. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, once we've pulled these ribs off for the final time, we're gonna throw them in our cambro and let them rest for about an hour. And if you don't have a cambro, no problem. Just get a cooler, throw a towel in there, and then throw your ribs inside a pan inside that cooler. Okay, so we just got these big honking ribs out of the Cambro. And now I'm gonna slice them and then we're gonna eat them. They've been sitting in there for about an hour, so uh, they ought to be great. Oh yeah, they are tender. Looks kinda like brisket on a stick. Look at that. Does that look good? Oh, yeah. I think I'm just gonna have a bite. Oh my goodness. Hey, and that's that's really it. As you can tell, cooking beef ribs is super easy. 
Just follow our steps and I guarantee you're gonna knock it out of the park and you're gonna make some tasty and tender ribs that everybody's gonna love. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, share us with your friends, and until next time, remember, drink beer, mostly craft beer, but not too much.